Hey guys, Solid Mind here. I believe the Huawei Mate 20 Pro is going to get a DxO mark of 110. And this is why. First of all, let's look at the nearest phone to the Mate 20 Pro. And that is the previous phone that had a lot of hype, which was the Huawei P20 Pro. Now the Huawei P20 Pro and the Mate 20 Pro are very similar phones when it comes to the camera side of things. It's just that when it comes to software, the Mate 20 Pro has a little bit better advantage. Let's look at the DxO mark first of all of what happened to the Huawei P20 Pro. I made a video recently about it. I'll put a link in the annotation up here and also down there in the description. So yeah, let me show what happened. So here on the right, we can see that the Huawei uh, P20 Pro got a DxO mark of 109, which is really high. And uh, photos, it got 114. Videos, it got 98. These are both very high. Now, if we look and compare the Huawei P20 Pro to a phone that got a really high mark or grade, which is 105, uh, the iPhone XS Max, we can see that DxO Mark picks and chooses what they think makes a good image. And um, we'll go in more detail about that later on. Now, first of all, um, we can see that the iPhone XS Max um, didn't get the highest rating when it comes to photos or videos, but the video on the iPhone XS Max, Max is better, in my opinion, than the Huawei Mate 20 Pro or P20 Pro. And this is why. First of all, um, DxO Mark really cares about exposure and color. Now, if we watch videos like the ones that MKBHD did, we can see that people like brighter photos. If you give someone a picture taken by a Poco F1, which is a very low end phone, compared to a Pixel 3 XL, uh, which is a high end phone, we can see that it doesn't matter how sharp the picture is, people care about how bright it is because they associate brightness with quality, which is not the case as a photographer, it's not the case. Sometimes a dark image is the clearest, sharpest, most, I don't know, contrasty image. Whereas the brightest one might not have the best quality, might not be as sharp, but people care about seeing everything, not seeing the quality of everything. And that is why I still believe the Mate 20 Pro is gonna have a very high rating. The bottom line is this, the Mate 20 Pro is literally a P20 Pro on steroids. And the iPhone 10 has been reviewed already. The iPhone R has been reviewed. The Pixel 3 has been reviewed by DxO Mark. And they've all gotten much lower marks. And that really sucks because the, for example, the Pixel 3 XL is literally a Pixel 2 XL's camera, just a little bit better. And I still believe that it takes the best images out there on a phone period, simple as that. But people care about how bright an image is more than how good the image is. As a photographer, I can tell you that when I'm taking photos for events or weddings or whatever, I don't, I don't really care about brightness. I care more about like the quality of the image, how uh, the saturation is and the contrast is and the sharpness of the image. Less about the brightness of it. People in general love to see everything in an image and they associate, and people associate brightness with quality, as I said before. And because of that, just that reason alone, and because it's a much brighter image than the P20 Pro, it will definitely get a much higher ranking than the P20 Pro, making it 110. Simple as that. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to hit 500 subs, hopefully in the next month or two. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.